I swear it looks like it's always seems to be Hi, here we are. Right, and we got <laughs> where we go again. We're trying to fool you. <laughs> Tim Every and Veronica. Time it looks like it's a selfie mode and then it I come on and Our it's ministry is his again. ministry. And that ministry is called Crack Clay. That's what we are. And this is our last one, Lord willing, in Richmond, Virginia, where I lived for almost 30 years. And my wife was born and raised here. And next week, if you think my wife, my wife is hot now, next week we're going to be coming from Lynchburg. And that is the home of the flames. This is our last She's going to be in the land of the flames. Liberty. Episode. Liberty. Politically, politically incorrect since 1971. So this is this is kind of it's kind of emotional for us. This it's is fun. a bittersweet time. Yeah, we're we're, we're so looking forward to uh, Lynchburg, but we just want to kind of talk a little bit about Lynchburg and what it's meant to us, my sweetheart. Talk about Lynchburg. About, and about Richmond, honey. Richmond, Richmond and time. She was born and raised here, so we were at St. We Mary's Hospital we and lived within, within and went to Monty Mill Heights Baptist Church across uh -huh. the street since I was six weeks old and lived within a one mile radius of that church. Is that right? Until I was in my thirties, so. Well, this is a big move for me, guys, all the way to Lynchburg. Two hours away. Two hours west in the mountains. Two hours, 15 minutes from door to door. Beautiful. Well, that's what What's the stuff you're, some stuff you're telling me at the pool today, but... But she's leaving by behind her mother will be here and her, her friends and our wonderful church we, we went to. And Chance Landrum, And we stopped son. And her son, my son, Lance... Bratton and Joel Bratton, and but we'll be here. We'll be here most weekends, probably. Yeah, so we'll be here a lot. To see our pumpkins. But it's still hard. It's hard because I've lived here all my life, except for right. except for a couple of months when I was three years old, and my mother decided she was going to move me to North Carolina, and I cried to to stay in Richmond uh, to be with my friends. So my right. girlfriends, mm -hmm. I like my family. So it's hard. It's hard, but I know it's the right thing. It's the right thing to do, and I have peace about that, but I'm sad because I'm going to miss everybody. And one of the well, churches, but I'm not going to miss everybody because we're going to be back all the time. Absolutely. And one of the churches we've gone to and had great friends here, three good churches we all love, and they, they prayed for us today, put a circle around oh, us and yeah. prayed we for us, lifted us up today. and prayed. Just had a wonderful time. Love them. We went to Carmel today, and we love Pastor Godly Perry people. and his wife. And we and uh, cousin Judy and Bobby and all and, the our friends and family right. at, at Carmel Baptist. And everybody loves Liberty here. Because Liberty's in the BCS now. We're gonna play the Virginias of the okay. world and Auburns and Alabamas. The flames rock. So if you're not a flame fan, search your heart. <laughs> uh, go flames. Go buckeyes. Go Ohio State Buckeyes and go Buckeyes. You know, a lot of stuff happened in Richmond for me. I came here. Um, almost 30 years ago, but I just want to talk a little bit about the most important, the biggest day, the day that changed my life, is when I got it, I received my ticket. I received a ticket, and it wasn't a speeding ticket. It wasn't a ticket that maybe a tail light was out or something like that, but I was on the main drag. Everybody know about 95 here between here and D.C.? It goes all the way down to Florida, all the way up to Maine, and I was on 95 because that day, 11 years ago, I was working in Fredericksburg with Miracle Ear. And I was on the road to 95, and that day, I received my ticket. I asked Jesus into my heart, and he radically saved me that day. Radically saved my life. And that was the greatest day of my life, because I know beyond a shadow of a doubt, if something happens to me, I'm going to heaven. But something else happened that day. When he had, that happened, something supernatural happened. That's when the power of the Holy Spirit came into my heart. And he's been there ever since. Now, my wife and I, we love doing drama. We, we got another, we're doing another drama in a couple of weeks somewhere. So we'll be back in Richmond to do that. Yeah, to do that. In, but, in July. And yeah. one of the biggest things we do is called trash. It's one of our favorites, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And even as Christians, some, even as Christians, we don't give it all to him. We keep some of it. And because of that, we, we do things that we shouldn't do. We have trash. And that can escalate into things that we really don't want to do. And so it's really important. To make sure you're born again, you're on your way to heaven. Because nothing we can do, nothing we can do to get ourselves in heaven. Only thing we can do is say, Jesus, I'm a sinner. Come into my heart and save me. Forgive me my sin. I know I can't make it to heaven on my own. I need you, Jesus. 
When you do that, he'll do it. You ask him, he'll do it. You generally mean it. He'll come into your heart. Amen. You know, be, after my eyes, I've been, you know, since, you know, since my, since my wife and I are, are really good in, you know, memorizing lines, she's a whole lot better than I am memorizing lines. Yeah. She's so much smarter than I am. It takes me a long time to memorize lines that she memorizes in a couple of days. But I said, you know, if I can do that, if I can do that, I can memorize verses. And Jesus has been teaching me and, and to memorize verses. And my second one says this, um, and we have believed in Christ Jesus that we are justified by faith in Christ and not by the works of the law. Galatians, that's in Galatians 5.16. You know, what's that mean? That means our faith comes from Christ, from what he did. That's what faith is all about. Having realized in Jesus is something for us. We don't even see him, but we feel him when he comes in our heart. Not by the works of the law. That means nothing we can do. Nothing we can do can save us except as she's in her heart. Okay, it's not by works. Works come from after we're saved and the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit. But he's been helping me. He's been, he's been showing me to memorize verses. If I can memorize lines, I can memorize verses. So when, so when those weak, weak times come, the weakness comes, and the trash kind of hits me when I least expect it, I fight back with a Bible verse. And that helps me. That gives me peace. And he... Oh, he, hide thy word in thy heart so I might not sin against thee. Amen. And that is awesome. The verse I'm working this week is, you shall receive power. Power? When what? When the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And then you should be my witnesses to me in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria and the end of the earth. That's in uh, Acts 1.8. But we are so excited about Richmond and one of the great things happened to Richard and I met my lovely, beautiful wife. Everybody say amen. Mm -hmm. But we're looking forward to Lynchburg next week, aren't we, sweetie? Tell, tell them how excited you are about going to Lynchburg. It, like I said, it's bittersweet. I know that it's the right thing to do. I know that this is what the doors that God's opening amen. for us. And, and I'm, I am happy about that. Um, and I have peace about it. But it is hard because I've been here my whole life. My whole entire life. And so I'm, I get a little nervous about a whole new area. I mean, you think about when you move, even just two hours away, you've got to change everything. So we yeah, have to get a new church, which we know where we're going. Thomas uh, we're going to be going to Thomas Road. 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 Yeah. And um, we, I didn't even know when I went to hook up the electric this week, Virginia Power isn't there. You don't even know who the electric company is and where all that stuff comes from when you or move into a new area and you gotta find new doctors and I'm gonna come back here to get my hair done though because I'm not giving up my hair girl. And we're gonna be here all the time, like we said. We have kids here. We have um, my oldest and his youngest and his oldest both live, all three live in Richmond and there's two areas, so we'll be here. We'll be here and we're, we're already July, we're performing in July here um, on a Saturday. So we'll be back for that. So I'm just looking at it, but I'm grateful that God's doing that and I'm keeping my job. I have, so a lot of people ask about that and get confused. We're moving to a place that Tim can walk to work. It's a great area of Lynchburg. Oh, there's a bad area, but Windhurst. Yeah, in Windhurst. And, um, but I'm gonna, my boss is awesome and she's letting me just commute a couple help days me. a week. She's helping me. Come, let me commute a couple what days a, great a week. Help she from is. home some. And, and, awesome. and help Tim. And so that's awesome. I'm so grateful. And I'm so grateful that the Lord has given her the uh, the patience with me that she's doing that and the grace with I me that she's doing that. What, you what no. Because because she because I don't think I could handle moving everything at once, my job and everything else. So I'm really grateful that I get to do this in little baby steps. And I and really the blessing in Tim's eye, Retina, one of the blessings has been that's come out of that is I was really having a hard time in February when we went shepherd toward a shadowed a student at LCA on Valentine's Day and I went and I was had a pit in my stomach and I was just really wrestling with the Lord about why are you moving me? Why are you moving me? And finally and I just prayed about it. I'm like, okay, if this is what you want, then I just I just have to surrender to you, to your will, and this is what we're gonna do and just get my head straight up about that. And then that was Valentine's Day and in March 
21st, Tim had his detached retina, and I had to start going with him three days a week. So you know what the she blessing the of that is? She learned the business. I not only did I learn the business, I became familiar with Lynchburg, and it helped me acclimate mentally to moving so it's not as traumatic for me right now as it would have been right now had I not had that. Right. So I'm really grateful for that and that we've been going. Thank you, Tiffany. So I this is like going back home. To me, it's like going back home. Right. Because I went right. to school at Liberty and I, I lived there a little bit afterwards. I met my first wife mm -hmm. and I was lost then. I'm going back found. And that's a great testimony for me that how he changed my life. I just want to. And we met so some great excited. people, haven't uh, we? Sound. Just, we, we met, met so many people. people. Some of my old friends yeah. from school, some of right. the old pastors from right. Thomas Road and my roommates and, yeah, and classmates. Great and people. It's a kind, loving town. Everybody's awesome. It's like a big family. A lot, a lot of business like to go to Lynchburg. You know why? Because they can hire people there of character. And that's what Liberty. And that's why we, we, we love Liberty. We love, we love the conservatism of Liberty. Absolutely. Politically incorrect. Incorrect. Since, since 1971. 1971. Having said that, Obama and Trump is not the answer. The answer is Jesus. Amen. He's the answer. Put your hope in him, not in any person from the earth, okay? Put your hope in Jesus. Man's going to let you down. Jesus never will. So Amen. pray for us. Next Sunday is moving day. Yeah, but we'll but still be. We'll, we'll still, still see you. We'll, we'll still see you. From Lynchburg, though. From Lynchburg. Um, so next Sunday is moving day, July 1st. So you guys pray for us this week. We love you guys. Oh, yeah, me Keep too. Keep in touch. Keep in I touch. I want my kids to go there, too. We love you. We love you, LCA. So, it's so great to have Shepherd already signed up, ready to go. And Shepherd is going to LCA. That He's a bulldog. Awesome. He is That's officially awesome. an eighth grade bulldog at Liberty Christian He's Academy. a bulldog like his mother. Not okay. his children. <laughs> yeah. It's sweet. It's sweet. We love y'all. She's a so bad. She's a fox. Oh no! You know what? Though I have to just tell you, I am the luckiest woman. I have, oh, I keep am, talking. I have Hamilton. the luckiest wife ever. Do you know what this man did for me yesterday? He took me everywhere I've been wanting to go. He gave me a really Richmond day, and he took me to where did we go. He took me to um, Hollywood Cemetery because even though I've grown up Hollywood. here, I have never been there. So he took me to Hollywood Cemetery. We went to Bell Isle. We ate lunch at the Strawberry Street Cafe because you have to eat at Strawberry Street Cafe. That's very Richmond. Richmond. Yeah. And we went to Cary Town and walked. I walked him yesterday. Um, we were tired. Yeah. And, and so he just did everything that he just made the day all about me and, and to really help me deal with my... Um, emotions about moving and then he drove me all around Richmond and all the old parts where I grew up and River Road and and it was it was awesome he's a good husband well he is a good husband you, I'm honey. the luckiest wife ever you don't have to stop now <laughs> but anyway guys good seeing anyway, everybody guys, pray for us we'll we pray love you. Pray, for you pray for each other send us your prayer requests messages yes we messages. pray for a lot of you guys every morning and ladies, ladies, I'm really thinking about starting an online community, a private Facebook group, an online community. It's something I feel like the Lord's put on my heart, and I want your feedback. Message me about this, where of uh, faith and health, um, because you know I've been an online beach buddy coach, but I'm not doing that really now. I just want to create a place where we can come together with our um, prayer request and lift each other up in our faith and our families and and being healthy together. Um, so let me message me if you're interested in that because I am just really feeling like that's what the Lord's called me to do. All right. And when you get a sounds here, Nate, no feedbacks. There's no feedback. It's awesome. Okay. <laughs> what are you talking so about sounds here? Get your for? get your hearing checked. I want to know if they want for to love. Oh, we love okay. you guys. Okay, we love you guys. Have a great all we'll see you next. Awesome. We'll see you in Lynchburg next, next week. The week, home Lynchburg. of the flames. Okay, guys. Bye. Oh, good, Tiffany. Thank love you. you. Love you guys. Bye. Jesus loves you. <laughs>